let G be a group, prove that the conjugacy class of the element A in our group is the singleton set, if and only if A is in the center of the group. So proof. There's a lot of terminology and uh, background that's required before understanding this proof. Uh, let's briefly, briefly go over it. So first of all, um, A is conjugate to B. If there exists an X and G such that uh, a is equal to x, b, x inverse. That's what it means for a to be uh, conjugate to b. It turns out that uh, this notion of two elements being conjugates, in this case we say a and b are conjugates, is an equivalence relation um, under this relation. And the conjugacy class is the equivalence class under this relation. So this is the set of all of the b's and g such that um, B is conjugate to A. In other words, this is the set of all of the B's in G such that uh, there exists an X in G such that, <laughs> two such that, uh, B is equal to X, A, X, inverse. Can be really careful here with the uh, notation. All right, so that's the conjugacy class of A. What is the center of G? The center of G is all of the elements in G uh, that commute with everything. So the center of G these are all the X's in G such that uh, XG is equal to GX for all little g in big G. So that's the uh, center of a group. All right, let's go ahead and uh, try to prove this. <laughs> we have to prove that the conjugacy class of uh, A and G is the singleton set, it's th is this, if and only if uh, A is in the center. So let's, let's prove this direction first. I think this is the uh, more careful direction. Um, so suppose that the conjugacy class of A, uh, let's, let's use this notation, the conjugacy class of A is equal to the singleton set. So the set containing just A. And the claim is that A is in the center of the group. So to show it's in the center, uh, to show A is in the center, we have to show that A commutes with all G and G. So take, take any uh, little g in capital G. And the claim is that um, AG is equal to GA. So we have to show, let me do it over here, we have to show that um, AG is equal to GA. That's what we have to show. In other words, if you multiply by G inverse on the left, or uh, or rather G inverse on the right, we have to show that uh, A is equal to GA, G inverse. Okay, that's what we have to show. All right, so then, uh, let's see, the element, let's call it B. So B, which is equal to GA, G inverse, this is an element of G, G, A, G inverse, and I just decided uh, to call it B. So we can do that, right, because this is an element uh, in the group. But if you look over here at the conjugacy class of A, all of the elements in this conjug conjugacy class have the form X, A, X inverse. So this is certainly an element in the conjugacy class of A, right, by definition of conjugacy classes. And that happens to be the singleton set. So this forces, it's, it's a really careful proof, this forces uh, G, A, G inverse to be equal to A. And then so multiplying on the right by G, whence, let's use a big word, whence, uh, G, A is equal to A, G. So we took any little g in capital G, and we showed that G, A is equal to A, G, and so this shows that A commutes with every element of G, so A is indeed a member of the center of G. So we showed that if the conjugacy class of A is the singleton, then A is in the center of G. Let's show the other direction. So suppose, this should be, should be easier. Uh, suppose A is in the center of G. And the claim in this case is that the conjugacy class of A is equal to the singleton set containing A and A only. So take any 
x in the conjugacy class of a. Okay, and uh, the claim is that x is equal to a, right? And that will show that every element of the conjug conjugacy class conjugacy class must be a. So the conjugacy class must be the singleton. Uh, all right, so because x is in the conjugacy class of a, this means, sorry, I'm a little, a little sick, a little under the weather. This means there exists uh, an x in g, not an x, let's say a, a g in g, sorry, a g in g, such that x is equal to g a g inverse, right, g a g inverse. But A is in the center of G, so A commutes with every, with every guy, with every element of G. So in particular, A commutes with little g. So this is equal to A G, G inverse. And this step here is because A is in the center of G. And G times G inverse, well, that's simply the identity element. So that's A times the identity and so this is a. So we showed that uh, for any x in the conjugacy class of a, x must be equal to a. So this means that the conjugacy class of a is equal to the singleton set containing a. So I hope this video made sense. I tried to go really, really slow, um, especially this part here. This is, uh, you got to be a little bit careful, and you really have to know um, what a conjugacy class is in order to uh, do this proof. So I hope that made sense. That's it.